this is one of the things that makes Uganda the part of Africa. It's not only about the wildlife sector, but also food sector. We should also look at the food side. Hmm? Bumbula. <laughs> ah, this is Uganda, part of Africa. A country that can offer you millions of activities you can do. Imagine. Welcome back to Eating Life. Can you? My name is Nicholas. Today we are at Mulungo, one of the places known for Kabelo. Kabelo is a Ugandan name, but we are going to find its definition. I don't know how, if they can translate it to English, but we are going to find it along this video. So keep along as we go. We are going to go step by step from where they buy the fish from until to the end of this video. But thank you so much for being part of Eating Life. Can you? So this is one of the people who work at this place. Welcome, Sebo. Yes, how are you, sir? How are you, sir? How, what, what is the name of this place? This is called Mulungu Fish Fry. Mulungo? Mulungu. Mulungu. Fish Not Fry. Not Mulungo. So I've been Mulungu. calling it Mulungu. Everyone calls it Mulungu. Mulungu. Hey. Hey, no. So what are we going to look at in this video? In this video, we are mm. going to look at the so-called cabello. 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 Uh, so how, we, how, how is it? What are the ingredients needed? The ingredients needed? Mm. Garlic. Mm -hmm. Onions. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes. Mm -hmm and so-called mm. katunkuma in Ka Uganda. Katunkuma, those are called, they, are, they have a small bitter, small bitter uh, uh, eggplant, so uh, kind of. <laughs> kind of eggplant. Yes. Uh, uh. Uh -huh. So? Oh no, small bitter berries. Small bitter berries. Mm. Uh, <laughs> even the eggplants are also needed. Okay, okay. So, so we are going to go step by step. Step by step. So this is where we buy the fish from. And then the next step is what? Next step is? Mm. We go and clean it. Uh -huh. After cleaning it, mm. we go to our so-called professional chef. You have a professional yeah, chef? Yeah, a professional chef. You, only one person, there are so many uh, chefs yeah. in this place. We have like 10, but like we 10. have the number one. Number one. She's called Namakula Karen, professionalist in mm -hmm. cooking, mm -hmm. Cabello. Okay. Mm. So how long does it take? 40 minutes mm. to one hour. To one hour. Yeah. So it 40 has, minutes. Mm -hmm. is, it's for this one. The mm -hmm. only boiled one. Mm -hmm. Minus fast deep frying the fish. Mm -hmm. If you want the cabel which is fast deep fried, mm -hmm. it takes one hour. One hour. But this boiled one, uh -huh. fresh fish, boiled. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It takes 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Yeah. So, how, how much are these? Let us go uh, through the prices we, so that we can see what we can manage for now. For now? We, there is always room for bargaining. Yeah. <laughs> so, we have this size, it's for 20,000. As it is, minus cabello. So we have this so called, this, this size is for 25. 25. Yes, 25. So we also have this size, it is for 30,000. 30,000. So we have these bigger ones, the extra large, they are for 40,000, minus cabello. So you are saying that uh, the, the prices of cabello depends on the on the size of the fish size of the and fish. the number of people who are going to eat that cabello. Mm, mm. Okay. So, so mm. if you are alone, you mm -hmm. want cabello for one person, mm -hmm. the charges mm. you will add on 10,000 shillings of Uganda. Hey, if I'm alone. If you are alone. Uh -huh. So if you have so many people, like five if or you, ten. If you are five, uh -huh. you, will, you will add on like 20,000. 20. Because 20. we are going to put matoke, sweet potato, Plus, also the chef who is going to do that thing mm. has, has to remain with some little money. Okay. Yeah. You have had all the information from this guy. So, the next step is that we have to bargain. There's always the bargaining power, but I would love to get the biggest fish <laughs> on my dish. So, how much is this again? How much is it? This one is for, is for 40,000. 40. 40. Yes. So, what is the last price? The last price is for 30. 30 but this is so big because I'm going to be. Uh, I'm going to be on with me, and then my border guy will also will have to share this. I think I, will, I can get a small, a smaller size. So how much is that? This one is for twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yes. So what is the last price? Twenty-three. No, no. Let us, let us have, let us take it for twenty. For twenty. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Twenty. But, but is it fresh? It is fresh. Because the lake is just opposite. That's why all, everything here is fresh. It is so, fresh. Oh. So there are, there are so many activities running around this place, fishing, boat riding. We are going to look at all that in this same video. But let us, let us go step by step because I don't, I don't want you to miss out anything. In case you want to come to this place, I'm going to share his number in my uh, description box if you want to 
have a contact person from this place. You get that number, you call him, he gives you all the information you want to know from this place. So, Twende <laughs> Mbele. We are taking that? Yeah, I'm taking this one. Okay. So this is the place where they clean uh, your fish from. Please go, go on. Wow. <laughs> but one thing I've discovered, these guys are clean. They are trying their noble best to keep this place clean. Look at this. Whoa. No, it's okay. You can go on. It's okay. <laughs> So you're, you're speaking English, yeah? yeah? Because of the camera. <laughs> it's always good to have, to, have, to have that common language everyone can understand. So how many pieces did he catch? Like four or two? Four. Mm. Mark, four pieces. I want you to see what is happening here. It is. Cabello. Is there an English name for this? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Four pieces, yeah? Okay. So we give a little... But I'm a camera about to about to serve us. So you were there? About to say, we'll see. So, after here, you have seen all the process from buying it, cleaning it, you're going to meet our chef. So, keep watching, don't go anywhere until the end of this video. So, let's go meet the chef. <laughs> So this is what I'm talking about. This is what we're going to have. So this one belongs to someone else, but I wanted you to see where we, where we, we are going to at the end of this video. But keep watching until we have our own. <laughs> so it will, it will be a fair. So this, this is what is going to be added to our cabello. Uh, eh? But nine. So, uh -huh. And then the, the bitter berries. Please keep watching until the end, until you see how this is going to come out. So, this is going to take us like 40 minutes to one hour, as that guy told you. But it will be, we are going, along, that, uh, along that time, we are going to be moving around, uh, uh, getting the, all the activities uh, around this place. So don't go anywhere, keep watching. <laughs> These are the ingredients we are going to have in our cabello. Tomatoes, onions, carrots, and then the green pepper. One of, green pepper is one of my favorite ingredients I will never miss in my dish if I'm the one cooking. I, li I love it so much, but if you use it a lot in the dish, it covers all the, the taste and then the, the scent from that food. But I love it anyways. <laughs> we are going to come back and get all the, all the steps because the, uh, the food has to cook alone. Then the, because the fish takes like, like, you know the fish takes like 10 minutes to get ready. So they have to cook the food separately. Then later they mix everything together. So we are going to go to the beach uh, where they do boat riding, where fishing takes place. And then we come back to this side. So, how much is a boat ride? Boat ride is 20k. Uh, how long is a ride? Where, where, where does it take you? Ekutualawa. Uh -huh. Speak resort. Jahaz Pia. Nungugwe, Nungugwe, Nungugwe Island. Uh huh. Eh. Uh -huh. So, oh, oh, 20k. So I think we should pay, pay for this ride. We have a ride around. I want you to see what you can get from this place. Eh? So we are after. I think after eating, we are going to come back. Uh, here we, we have a ride around. You go to Speak Resort, you go to Jahaz Pier, yeah. you go around the Kabaka Island. Yeah, Kabaka is Island. It, it is called Kabaka Island. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it from here, but what you see in the back, I don't know, English has refused, but 
we'll come back. <laughs> we'll come back later. Kale sebo webale. Eliato. Kale, this guy wants us to see the boat. <laughs> uh, you have to be careful. Hey, this is how the interior looks like. Wow, it's so comfortable. There are life jackets. Hmm. Eh, okay. <laughs> Okay, this is the... Okay, I like this, I like this. So after we have to come back and have a ride, I wish you people are here to enjoy this with me. This is so interesting, so amazing. One of the things, you don't need to move away uh, so many miles from Kampala, but you can come here and enjoy this. And after you go back to your places, you, you go back to your home. I think those who always come to Uganda to do food tours, those people have been taking around, this is going to be included on that, on that list. Some of the things you must do. <laughs> if I'm your tour guide, your food tour guide. Ah, wow. Wow. Okay, let us go back and see. There is a, there is a bar if you, you want to get yourself high. Yeah. Abo, abo, abo. Abo tea. Also, they have herbal tea, but I wouldn't want to go into that. You know what, what they mean by herbal tea? <laughs> okay, so if you want to get high, or you want to forget your problems, or you want to go to another, another, another what, universe, this is the place you can come to and enjoy all that. But I'm not going to go into, I'm not going to have that tea. I think my, I have a weak head. If I take, if I take that, I might, sleep, I might sleep for a whole week. So let's go back and see how, how far is, how far is, uh, how far is with our Kabero. It has no English name, but because some things have to remain African. Not everything has to have an English name. But if a white wants to learn this, you have to learn the Kabero. So, it is almost getting ready, so let's go and see the next step. But thank you so much for keeping yourself on eating the African way. Ooh. Okay, I want you to see what is happening right here. So if you want to try this at your home, you have seen everything you need. You, you can try this at your home if you want it. You get all the, the ingredients we have for the steps you can you will come up with the same thing oh wouldn't want to miss out anything ah Like after 10 minutes, I'm going to add in all the ingredients, and then after adding in the, all the ingredients we have we shown you, it is going to take like 20 to 25 minutes. Then we'll be eating our cabello. But if you have an English name, you can give this. Please do that in our comment section because we are always here to learn. But some things have to stay African. We, we, we also have we also need to have things that belong to us, things you cannot find anywhere else. But thank you so much for uh, for watching. Thank you so much for being part of eating the African way. Drop a comment, tell us what you want to, to see next on eating the African way. I don't know. There's so much, there, there's a lot you can see from this place, but I don't want to interrupt uh, people's comfortability, so I wouldn't want to go there, but there's a, as you can see, there's, it's, a, it's a very big place, a very big place. You can come here with your family and enjoy. Anything you want to, to say? Anything you want to say? Yeah. So our beloved customers mm -hmm. who want cabello, mm. there is no boiled cabello you will find to Mulungu, already boiled. Mm. You have to make an order, then you find when it's ready. Oh. So we have that problem, come, you come, our beloved customers, I want that boiled one already. Hey, hey. So you have to make an order before. I, I also thought uh, you, you, you have which is ready uh, we don't in, have the, in the place, one. that's what I heard. <laughs> but you can you come here earlier, you make your order, you go somewhere and sit and wait. Yeah. Even mm. you can be at your home, mm. you know the journey will take like one hour. Then you can call. Then you call, you say, I'm coming, prepare for us, Cabello, we are five. Mm. Then you come, mm. then your Cabello is ready. That's why I'm going to share his number in my description box. If you want to come here, you can make an order earlier. You, ju you just take your time. 
take, take your time, you come here and enjoy. You see how Kabel looks like mm. in Mulungu fish fry. Everything is fresh. Everything is fish fresh. is from the lake. Fish is from Lake Victoria. Mm. The, the cook, we have the professional mm. chef, number mm. one. Mm. And Mulungu fish fry. Okay. Also tell them the activities in this place. The activities here. Mm. We have boat rides. Yes. We also have boat racing. A can, boat racing? Yes, boat racing. When does, when does that happen? It happens in June. June? Yes. So if you want those boat racing, you will come and enjoy. Mm. But here we have Cabello, mm -hmm. the deep fried one, mm -hmm. the, the smoked one. Mm. So it also and depends also on, the, on the size of the fish. Yeah, it also depends on the size uh, of the fish mm. you want. So our next step, mm. see our chef is mm. cooking. We are going to the, our next. Our, and, Okay, okay, let us go to the next step where they add uh, the ingredients into the cabello. Not yet a cabello, it is, but almost, almost, almost there. Yeah, so let's go. <laughs> There are two types of cabello you can find at this place. There are one which is fried and then the one which is boiled. I think I prefer the boiled one because it is rich, it is rich. Uh, but you can tell us in the comment section what, what your preference is or what you like. But me, I think I would like the one which is boiled. Mm. What else should we do in this place? I think that, that we can wait for our, our cabello to get ready, we eat and then we, we go have our boat ride. Oh, should we have the boat ride first? Yes, no. mind. We after, eat. After eating, mm. then we go for the boat ride. Okay, so after eating our cabello, we are going to go for a boat ride and you see how this place looks like. You see the beauty we have in you. Some of the beauty, beauties. <laughs> so some of the... Okay, let, let us just go. Let us just go. Back from the long wait, finally this is uh, this is what we have on our table. You can come and be part of this. This is one of the things that makes Uganda the part of Africa, where we have plenty of foods, foods you can choose from. Imagine if you don't eat matoke, you have pumpkin. If you don't eat pumpkin, you have rice. You have potatoes. You have a variety of food. This is one of the things that makes Uganda the part of Africa. It's not only about the wildlife sector, but also food sector. We should also look at the food side. Hmm? So let us dive into this. <laughs> you can you can enjoy. You can enjoy. <laughs> wow. You know I always use my fingers to eat, but th since we are two people, I'm going to use a I'm going to use a spoon, just for only for today. Wow. Mm. Wow. They add in, they added in the ghee to flavor this up. Hope you watch that. And it turns out to be whew, so good, so good. Oh my goodness. Ah. I think uh, during my honeymoon, I'll bring my wife 
to this place. <laughs> this is one of the foods. Those, those people in, in, in honeymoon, this is one of the experiences you can give to your wife, hmm? yeah. to your loved one. Wow. I'm giving up on the spoon. Let me dive into this my by natural way. In this video, I wanted to take you somewhere not so far from Kampala, but this place can, can offer variety. Things you can get from, like miles away from Kampala, you can get them from this place. Imagine having boat ride. Uh, after eat, you can go have your boat ride. You, you can have, grab a beer, grab a, 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 a soda, water, a wine from this place. I'm not trying to advertise for them, but I'm trying to take you through what you can have from this place as you enjoy the meal. Wow. <laughs> but if you want to come to this place, I, I can be your, 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 food tour, your, your, your guide. I can bring you here, give you all the experience because I've made a lot of connections around, mostly the food sector. <laughs> I, I can give you a. Uh, uh, Food tour around Kampala, food tour outside Kampala. Just get my number from the, this very video's description. Talk to me and see what you have, what you want. Uh, for the for the for the payments, we can you can bargain. I always give room for bargaining. Mm. Hey, 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 hey. This is why I love uh, boiled foods. Everything is so natural. If, if this was fried, then the taste would be different from what we're having right now. Ah. <laughs> but thank you so much for being part of eating the African way. You can tell us what you want, what, what you want to see next on this channel. Please, please share your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about uh, this food? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Ah. Yeah, after here we're going to have a boat ride. Uh, I think that will be the end of this video. Just a boat ride. I want you to see all the offers you can get from this place. Hmm. Wow. I love this. I love everything that is coming out from this Dusania. Because Dusania is written Ruzung. That's right. <laughs> but I, I, I love my matoke mostly. But potatoes, I think they don't they don't bring out the real taste of this. So this, okay, the size of the fish and the, and uh, everything we have we, that was added into this are uh, costed uh, around. 35,000 Ugandan shillings. That's how much in dollars. You see that on the screen as you're watching this video. Right now, you can see the price on the screen. Now, imagine having your family coming uh, coming this place and enjoy all this. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Ah, <sighs> Mm. 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 But, but what do you think about this video if you're watching? What do you think? Is there anything left out? I think I shared all the information from this place. Everything that can be offered. I think everything has been has been shared. The prices, uh, the recipe, mm, what else? I think I, I I think everything has been shared out.
that was it for the Kabel. So right now we are going to go for the boat ride. I don't want to leave my border guy behind, but I'm going to bargain. Uh, no, neither, neither. I'm going to bargain with this guy and then we see how much it is going to be. <laughs> but don't go anywhere, keep watching until the end of this video. Do you know? So this is going to be the last part of this video. So let's go. They can take you to around five places, but I don't want to go to all those places because I have my brother guy and I also want him to be part of this. So it will be so expensive for us. For us. So let us go to. Uh, Bye, buddy. Okay. okay. Imagine getting all this experience uh, at this same place. You can get my number if you want all this to happen. You can oh, life jacket. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is this is getting more fun. So we are going to go to just nearby places. But if you have enough money, they have five, five places they can take you to. But let us just go nearby nearby places and then we come back. I just want you to get the experience from this video. You see what what we always talk about, Vumbula. <laughs> ah, this is Uganda, part of Africa. A country that can offer you millions of activities you can do. Imagine. Okay, I think you're also enjoying as we're enjoying. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. There's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot. This is one of the beaches you're going to find along, along your boat riding. This, is, this beach is called what? Kaz, Kaz, Kazi? Yeah, Kaz Beach. Kaz beach. There are so many beaches along this uh, along this Lake Victoria, but we are going. To, we are not going to, to go everywhere. Just for uh, we wanted a short ride to take you through, to take you along along the Lake Victoria and see what they can offer you from that place where we ate the cabal from. Yeah, hope you can see the beauty, the beauty of this. Oh my goodness! People eat your money. Don't just keep it in the banks. Don't keep it in your at your homes. Go out there, spend some money. <laughs> Spend some money. <laughs> Our journey ends there at Kazi Beachy, but if you have enough money, they have they have like five places they can take you to. You can even go see uh, Idi Amini's boat <laughs> from somewhere. It was made from concrete. And then the, is it iron, iron what? Iron bars. We are, but we are not going to go there because our money doesn't, cannot take us uh, to that place. But next time we'll come back and go, oh, go to all those places. But I hope you're watching. Hope you're enjoying this video. You're enjoying this blog. You can also recommend where you want us to go next. We have come back, we have started again, we have been in a holiday, we got sick, a lot has been happening, but we are back. Just tell us what, where you want us to go. Tell us where you want, get my number from, this, from the description, description box, talk to me if you don't want to drop a comment, talk to me, and we, we see how we can do. If you want to sponsor this channel, also you can, because we need sponsorship, if you, you want us to travel everywhere, you, to all places, we need uh, sponsors. You want to advertise with us? Please do. By the way, the sponsor of this video is uh, www.mugisalive.com. You can check out, uh, you go, you're going to see that ad at the end of this video. You can check out, uh, you can visit their website and get more information. www.mugisalive.com. Yeah, let us go back to the mainland and then we go back home. <laughs> but thank you so much. I love you all. Catch up in the next video. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. So this is the end. So catch up in the next video. Bye bye for now. Woo. Woo. <laughs>
You're welcome. You know, Vienna, if we left out something, if you have ever been to this place and you think we left out something, you can tell us. We'll come back, we'll do uh, different food, because I've seen there are something different we can come back and do from this place. So drop that in the comment section. I do that for you. But thank you so much for being part of it in the African way. I sign out. Bye-bye. <laughs> Are you an African in the diaspora with a dream, a vision, and the drive to succeed? We invite you to step into a new era of possibility, empowerment, and financial independence. Imagine running your own business from the comfort of your home or while sipping coffee in your favorite corner cafe. It's all within your reach. Join our community of digital business owners who have decided to step out of the norm of a tedious lifestyle working more than three jobs and create the life they want. Sign up at www.mugisalive.com and let your online business journey begin.